Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So, today I am going to discuss the adding and subtracting decimal numbers through thousands without and with by grouping. Okay, so let's say this given. Write in column, then compute. Okay, so sa pag-a-add ng decimal numbers, mas madali kapag isinulat nya, nyo siya in column form. No? As you can see, yung mga given natin, hindi magkaka-equal yung dami ng kanyang digits. No? So, sa pag-a-add ng decimal numbers, ang first procedure dyan, kailangan ay i-align mo no? yung decimal point. So, 9 and 2 tenths plus Okay, so, ito yung second given natin. So, dapat yung decimal point magkatapat, ano? So, dito yung 29. So, 29 and 341. Uh, thousands, no? And then, yung second given natin ay 65. Hundreds. Ayan, as you can see, yung decimal point magkakatapat dapat. So, that, that means, yung pag-a-add ng decimal numbers, hindi siya katulad ng pag-a-add ng whole numbers. So, whole numbers kasi, ang pinagtatapat doon, di ba, ba, yung mga nasa ones digits, yung tens digits, magkakatapat yung dito. Basta, ang tandaan nyo, dapat ang magkakatapat ay ang decimal number. Then, afterwards, pwede kang mag-add ng zero dito, no? pwede ka mag-add para magkaparehas na yung dami ng digits o dito din, mag-add tayo ng isa, then afterwards pwede ka na mag-add, 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 4 plus 5 is 9 2 plus 3 5, plus 6 is 11, write down 1, write group 1, and then yung decimal point, tapat mo na rin dyan 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 9 is 19 plus 0 is 19. So, write down 9, regroup 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then, the answer is 39 and 191 thousands. Okay. So, another given. Okay. So, 25 hundreds plus 18 and 9 tenths plus 5 and 6 tenths alright, so as you can see yung decimal point natin, magkakatapat uli ha, and then mag-add ka ng zero dito para pare-pares na dami ng digits, then pwede ka nang mag-add 5 plus 0 plus 0, 5 2 plus 9, 11, plus 6 is 17, write down 7, regroup 1, and then your decimal point, sulat mo muna, 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 8, 9, plus 5 is 14, 1 plus 1 is 2, then the final answer is 24 and 75 hundreds. Another given, Write in column, then compute. So, ano naman tayo ngayon? Subtraction, no? So, 62 and 35, 100. So, yung procedure sa pagsusubtract, ganun din, no? Tatapat din natin yung decimal point. Okay. And then, pwede ka rin maglagay ng 0 dyan. Dito rin pwede. Uh, para equal, ha? And then, afterwards, pwede nang mag-subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. 3 minus 8 is cannot be. So, that means, pwede tayong mag-borrow dito kay 2. 2 becomes 1. 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. And then, yung decimal point. Turn down lang yan. And then, 1 minus 0 is 1. 6 minus 0 is 6. Then, the answer is 61 and 55 hundreds. Alright, so another example. So, subtraction pa rin tayo, no? 62 and 2 tenths minus 3 and 967 thousands. 
Oh, pwede ulit tayong mag-add ng 0 para maging equal, no? So, dito din. Pwede rin. Okay. Then, pwede na mag-subtract. 0 minus 7 cannot be. Hindi dati mag-borrow kay 0. Since na 0 siya, hindi rin tayo pwede mag-borrow kay 0. Dito kay 2, hindi rin pwede mag-borrow dito. Bakit? Kasi, etong nasa subtrahend natin, no? 9 siya. So, mas mataas. And then, pagdating dito, hindi rin pwede dito. Bakit? Yung subtrahend natin ay 3. So, that means, dito tayo kay 6 magbabarrow. So, 6 becomes 5. 2 becomes 12. 12 becomes 11. 2 becomes 12. 12 becomes 11. 0 becomes 10. 10 becomes 9. 0 becomes 10. Ayan. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. 11 minus 9 is 2. And then, yung decimal point, pin down mo. And then, ito, 11 minus 3 is 8. 5 minus 0 is 5. Then, the answer is 58 and 233 thousands. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.